Probably just on the day. First off, it's good to win the series after losing the opening game. And, uh, you know, like I said, I told the team this for, you know, uh, Illinois State, you know, arrived down here that, that we were playing a veteran team that uh, had three veteran pitchers and they were going to fill up the zone and that they weren't going to beat themselves. And we were going to have to beat them. And we didn't beat them on Friday. And then uh, the last two days we had to go get them. Uh, you know, probably the negative of the day, is that we we left some more runners out there. We didn't get a bunt down, and uh, you know just little things like that that add up. You got a runner on second, nobody out. You don't score him. You have a leadoff double, and we pop up off the bag when you just you know little things. And we we've got to clean that up. And uh, we still have a lot of a lot of pitchers that we want to see. Uh, you know maybe we're a little nervous about bringing some of these guys in that haven't pitched yet in, in, a, in this situation today, um, but we're just going to have to bite the bullet and let them go uh, because we have some good arms that didn't throw this weekend. We, you know, we used some guys a couple of times. So uh, I think that'll happen here in the near future. I, another positive is that we drove in three runs today with two outs, at least three runs with two outs, and got a couple of big hits. So that, that was good to see. Again, we we're, we're one big swing away, bases loaded. We already got two in, one big swing away from kind of putting the game away, and we haven't gotten that yet. So hopefully that's coming for us. But uh, solid defense uh, for the most part. You know, we made a throw and error on a ball in the center field when, on a delay type steal where we would have had him by a lot if we make just an average throw. Um, you know, just been solid in the field. So that, that that's another plus. But. Uh, Looking forward to going on the road this next weekend and, and playing some more good competition and see if we can up our game a little bit. What did Cole Rammer show you to pitch like he did today on two days rest? Well, he's been pitching really well this year, and that started in probably midway through in the fall. And then when he came back after the holidays, it just seemed like his stuff has continued to be better and better, and it's better than it was last year, uh, more command. and. Uh, again, you know, looking back, we were a little, we were, we were trying to figure out if we want to let him go back in the ninth. He said he felt great, obviously, and uh, I just wanted the veteran out there. He, he told us he, he still had good stuff. Our catcher said he had good stuff, so you know, we let it roll. I think just didn't want to let that slip away with maybe a, a new pitcher out there that hadn't thrown and uh, that situation. So. But he's er he's earned it. He's earned the right to go out and pitch, and his his uh, his off speed stuff is good, and his fastball is a little firmer than it has been in the past. And you know he, he gets outs. Your lineup's look different all three games. Is it just a matter of you're still tinkering with it, seeing what you like? A little bit of both. I mean, it's well, I guess the other yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out. We you know we think we got guys that are swinging it really good, and you put them up in the order, and they don't swing real well, and give them a couple of days, and we decide to go with. Them. Somebody else, and uh, yeah, moving around, trying to you know get Lanzilli in the outfield a little bit instead of DH, and you know switch Brady, and you know try to try to get another catcher in there today. And uh, there's still some more guys that we're going to get in in the future. It's just a matter of when. Uh, we have confidence in most of them, you know, and probably all of them. We just haven't seen them play. And again, the games were so tight, we just felt like that uh, you know we needed to maybe go with older guys. Coach, I scored only the one run in the fourth inning, but made their starter throw a lot of pitches. How, how big was that? And how much do you think that maybe contributed to the, the breaking through there in the fifth? Well, the we I think it was that when Gregory got the big hit with two outs after uh, we left. You know, we looked like we were about to another, leave another really good scoring opportunity and let it go to waste. And uh, did foul off a lot of pitches, made him throw a lot of pitches, and and finally with two outs got the big hit and tied it up a little bit and. I thought it was great that uh, you know that, that Wiggins went back out in the top of the fifth and had a quick inning, got us back in the dugout. And sure enough, we scored two more runs and had an opportunity to really bust it open. Um, but at least we we uh, you know saw a lot of a lot of pitches again and and got into their bullpen. Did it surprise you this weekend the lack of runs y'all were able to score? Yeah, I, I thought we'd score more because it seemed like we were swinging the bats pretty well and. Uh, a lot of times it's uh, it's new guys with nerves, and uh, I think uh, you know, except for maybe Chris Lanzilli, the, a lot of the new guys they they didn't swing the bat like I know they can. So hopefully they'll pick it up here. It was good to see guys like Robert Moore and and uh, you know Caden Wallace, and you look at battles. I mean, and then you got Brady Slaves with three hits. 
those were those were most of our hits on the day, you know. And Stovall got a couple of hits, and I don't know, you know, that Stovall leads off the game. If wind's not blowing in, he hits a home run, and it's just like wow, you know, the kid needs a break, and he crushed that ball. He had to be on the field to maybe feel it or see it, but he backspun it. That ball would have went way out of here, but it got up in the wind, just came back down, and uh, you know, it was uh, it was a good team win though. Overall, how did you feel about Wiggins? I thought Wiggins did a really nice job of throwing the ball over the plate, you know, and, and he worked out of a jam, and that was big to see. Um, you know, they, they hit him a little bit, but uh, he didn't let it bother him. And, you know, there's always things to work on, but overall I thought he did a nice job. So say so you go up four or five runs and you're going to bring in other pitchers behind Ramage. Who all – who's next on the <laughs> I need my list. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We had Bracken up, who was a pitcher that, you know, we thought he was going to help us last year, and then he hurt his elbow right before the season started. Uh, Nick Griffin, left-hander, who was, hasn't thrown an inning here either, but both of those guys have thrown really well, both of them coming off injuries. Uh, those are the two that kind of jump out at me right away. Uh, you think you might go with the same rotation next weekend or just think it over again? Uh, it'll probably be the same for another week, but we'll – We'll, we'll see what we think here this week. You know, you never know how guys are going to feel tomorrow and, you know, see how Jackson's feeling as well. Mm -hmm. Illinois State hadn't been on the field before they came here. Um, were you surprised by how well they played? You know, not really uh, because what, what do you do when you're inside? You work on defense. And defensively, they, they were solid. It's still a – they can set up a diamond and, and play and – you know, turn double plays and field bunts and, and those type of things. And, uh, you know, when I coached up north, we we came out of the chute pretty well. Defensively, a lot of times the bats struggle a little bit. But I thought their hitters did a nice job. And they're veterans. They, they've got some guys that, that swing it pretty well. Uh, but uh, not, not really. I, I kind of know how they're coached and that they would be a big challenge for us. You mentioned Wiggins getting you the, the quick fifth inning. What was kind of the decision process to send him back out there for a fifth inning? The the number of pitches he thrown. Again, wanted him. He's built up for it. Let's let him try to get to it. You know, if if he would have had some big innings, you know, he might have only thrown four innings because of the number. But the number was down. Uh, I think it was in the 60s when he started it, and uh, it's just really good to see him. You know, keep it in the 70s. That's where we wanted maybe 80 at the most. And what did you think of the way Stovall played? Uh, first base this weekend, not a position he's played before. I thought he played great. Uh, defensively was uh, outstanding and uh, picking balls out of the dirt, stretching. I mean, he made some nice plays, um, you know, making himself look a little taller than he is. And you got to learn the footwork and you got to like it. And he's been doing a good job in practice. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thanks, guys.